Okay, hi, um, thank you for watching my very first video. I am really sorry for how bad the camera quality is. <laughs> my laptop is really old and so is my camera. <laughs> um, maybe in a little while, if anyone's even interested at all, I'll get a better one. But for now, I'm just kind of doing this for fun. Um, I would really like some suggestions on what I should do because I have no idea. I've never done this before. Um, anyways, I'm just going to be tapping on this box and showing you some of my magic cards. Um, I have a lot. I'm not going to be showing you all of them. Maybe eventually, but not in this video. And I really like the sound that this palette makes. Um, this eyeshadow palette. And again, I'm really sorry for my camera quality. <laughs> It'll get better, maybe. Um, yeah, I like the sound this palette makes, so... I'm gonna be doing that too. And like I said, I know this video is probably gonna be kinda lame because I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm definitely open to some suggestions. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start unboxing this and probably stop talking now because I don't have a very relaxing voice. sent me this for my birthday. Because I used to play Skyrim a lot. But I live in a different state than her now, so she just kind of sent me this, even though my birthday was in April. <laughs> I don't care. I thought it was really cute. Um, but I have to find somewhere to put him. Oh, I think he's really neat looking. I, I don't know if you can hear this right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you guys even heard that. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. 
Um, actually, my husband and I just got these, the, um, Elspeth, Elspeth, I know it's reversed, um, versus Kiora, Kiora, I don't know how to say it, I'm not, like, claiming to be the best person ever in magic, I'm honestly pretty terrible, <laughs> it's just fun, I don't compete in any competitions, I just play at home with friends, that kind of stuff. This deck, though, is actually pretty mean. Um, the Kyora Kiora is pretty good too, but I don't know, I've just found this one to be, it's little bits of damage at a time, but it really, it adds up, and, um, I find that a lot of the creatures in the other deck, they just take, you, know, you have to use so many land spaces, and in order to be able to play them, and it takes you a really long time, you know, to make some of them worthwhile, and meanwhile, this lady's just, you know, spitting out two, three, one, and unblockable damage sometimes, and um, really chips away at you for a while. Um, oh. I guess I'll show you some the other deck. So these are just like loose cards. I have a big box, but these are just all my loose cards. I know. Um, if I see like maybe some art. Okay. <laughs> That's me. The um, unchecked growth. I know this is a terrible, terrible angle. I'm really sorry. Um, this is really the best I can do right now. My phone. Um, the recording quality is better, like the sound quality and um, the video quality. But the only thing is there's a lot of background noise and I don't know how to remove that. If anybody knows how, please let me know. I would really, really appreciate that knowledge. These are kind of old. These are really old. be nice if I actually showed them to you, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll do that then. I just not a fan of these, so I'm gonna grab a different one. Okay, I'll just go ahead and show you some of them. Well, I'm not that one. Those are boring. Um, Corrupt sorcery, obviously. This one. It's kind of neat. Can't really see it though. I'll fix it eventually. And someone tells me how I can remove some background noise from my phone recordings, then it will improve at least a little bit. <laughs> and before you guys are like, oh, you don't have them in sleeve, you're ruining them by shuffling them with. These are really cheap, but they're not special. <laughs> I really, I'm not that invested in them, you know? 
It's just a game. if you are more into like the visual aspect of videos because right now it's just kind of impossible for me to do I'm trying to make it to where you can hear um, and if I you know focus more on showing you then you won't really be able to hear as well and it's kind of pointless to focus on showing you things because my camera is so crappy okay Lastly, I'm going to tap on my Mi Vida Loca Remix palette that I got because, um, ugh, sit down, it has, oh, sorry, I'm just like getting adjusted here, okay, it has a, um, cardboard sleeve. A cardboard sleeve that it's in. And this thing. And I really like um, how empty cardboard boxes sound. <laughs> that sounds really strange. Um, but yeah. I'll go ahead and show you the colors and name them off for you. Okay. This top purple one is Anthem. The one next to it is News. The one next to it is a um, really deep purpley blue, and that's Echo. Um, the next one is kind of an, um, a grayish, tealy, um, kind of light navy, and that's Dark Wave. The next one, right here, is called Synth, and it's like, um, a really bright aquamarine sky blue um, color. And the next one right there. That's called Hyper Ballad. And it's um, kind of like a swamp greeny blue. And this one that's called Lemmy. 
and it's um, a metallic, shiny, forest green. It's really beautiful. It almost looks duochrome on your eyelid. This next one is Misfit. Um, it's just a, a light shimmery green. I'm leaning more towards lime green than forest green, but more in the middle. This whole thing is kind of like a, a color feel, so. This next one, right here, no, right here. It's called Vinyl, and it's a lime green, a matte lime green. Well, actually, no, it's shimmery. I lied now. <laughs> this next one is called Legend, and it's a really translucent um, yellow gold kind of color. It's really good to go on top of other colors to give them a golden kind of sheen. Or just as a really light shadow, but it's not very pigmented. I don't think it's supposed to be. This. This next one is called Fran, and it is a warm, no actually it's a cool toned, a deep yellow. This next one, Analog, is just a matte orange, it's really pretty. This one is called Harpsichord, and it's a bronzy, golden, reddish shimmery copper and i know that's a lot but it really is it's beautiful it's one of my favorites this one is called rewind and it's a really good shimmery cranberry color i'm really excited to use it because it just fall just happened here in the states and cranberry is my favorite color to wear for fall and this one is called destroyer and it's just a really deep corally kind of pink or as this one Shit. swoon wait right yeah swoon <laughs> it is more of a a salmon flamingo well more of a flamingo pink actually and the last one this one right here is called love and it's a really pretty rose pink um metallic it has like a, a silver duochrome uh, glitter, not quite duochrome, but very, very silver and pink. <laughs> and these in the middle, well, honestly, I don't like any of them besides skulls, which is, the um, it's a really shimmery kind of highlight chain, but if you're going to get this palette, I would not suggest getting it for the neutral shades. They don't, don't work very well. But overall, I love it. Okay, this video is way longer than I thought it would be. I don't even know if half of this stuff is audible. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to go ahead and stop now. Leave me some suggestions if you have them. And thank you for watching. I'm honestly really surprised if you made it this far. <laughs>